Girls are looking mighty fine on this grass. I screwed up and I was supposed to make sure they're in this pasture and I guess they weren't. They're kind of hungry, but here they come. Look at her. She's got her happy lines on. I can tell by looking at their butts, they're probably getting too much protein again. They're getting pretty loose, even that heifer. I guess as long as they're staying fat, that's really kind of what I, that's what I like. They're, they're well conditioned right now. Another thing to look at is, you can tell some of them that are the new ones, like those two, they aren't losing their winter coats as fast. They aren't getting so slick heighted. I can miss 934 here. You've got your winter gear or winter gear off, don't you? Same with 16. Just something to watch for. Is the first calf heifer. She's probably the first one really that is um, losing condition more. One I'm gonna have to watch this summer. Another thing I've really been thinking about too is if we watch these girls, this is knee high, you know, so it's 24 inches plus grass. And it's, it's just, they don't, it's interesting because if I'm watching how they graze, like, look at this. Someone came by and took a bite and left all that. So once again, it is encouraging me to think about doing higher density and getting all this grass bigger, higher stock density. Because look at these ones. Look at them. No one is taking their head and shoving it to the ground. We'll just take a look at some of these other calves and cows. Cows. Take a look at some of these other cows. What do you think, Butterscotch? Look a little red. Both them cows. Just a, a an interesting thing to maybe just note. I don't know where I'm going to apply that, but other than maybe density and trample, how they can pull them tops off like that. Like, look at them. They are just... 954 is just like, I'm going to eat as much of these tops before someone else does. She's just grazing those tops. I don't know what it means. <laughs>